Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to yet another beer review with the video the Master of Puppets again joined by yeah, Little Molds. Yo. <laughs> and today, we're going to be looking at another Moylands beer. Have you had any Moylands? Yeah, I have. The Hopsicle, yeah. and we had it at the. Uh... We've had Hopsicle at Yeah, we years. have. Uh, and I had, uh, some other Moylands as well. I had, yeah, and I've had the dry, oh, dry, the dry stout, the green yeah, and stuff, yeah. and then I did the ones with Dad. Now, this is the Moylands Old Blarney Barley Wine Style Ale. It's their barley wine on 10%. It's a big one, and you might recognize the horrible, horrible label. <laughs> yeah, we talked about it, me and Dad, too. And this is like, it's yeah, with all the awards and stuff, they're really ugly. But it's good beer, so, yeah. Uh, but it says here, our barley wine style ale is a rich and heavy ale brewed to a high gravity, massive body, mouthfeel, and hoppiness. Barley wines are the brandy of the ale world. This is a great sipping ale and perfect finish to any meal. Well, we're going to drink this before a meal. <laughs> So we got the old Blarney, right? Yeah, Blarney poured from Moylands, and it looks like a barley wine. It's that nice dark copper color. Yep, I'd say a little bit of a beige head. Let's check out the aroma on it. Mm. Mm. It smells a mix of. It smells actually more English. Yeah, like an English barley wine. It does have like a piney hop aroma, and I'm getting a little bit of that uh, almost. Um, Diacetyl. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I was searching for that. I'm word. thinking like buttered popcorn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But other than that, a little bit of uh, alcohol, but also lots of caramel, toffee, raisins. A lot of raisin, actually. Mm -hmm. A little bit of a breadiness, almost. Yeah. yeah. Almost like a toasted bread. Yeah. What about you? What are you picking up? Pretty much the same. Um, it does have a little bit of the tea leaf hop. Too. Yeah, and that's also kind of like a uh, perry kind of. Stench to it. I don't know if it's mm. the uh, oh, diacetyl. Pear? pear? Yeah, yeah pear. Perry, that's the cider. <laughs> oh, oh, well, pear. Yeah. Re kind of smell to it. And also, it's like a, almost like a red grape, too. Yeah, but you want to give it a taste? Yep. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, feels English. Yeah. Feels English with a small dose of hops, mm. uh, which is kind of interesting. It has a solid bitterness. Yeah. It's all. It's almost like the English trying to make an American style barley wine. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's usually, I find sometimes you get that with some of the English breweries or UK brewers, you get that it has the UK traditional kind of feel, but with a tweak of America. Yeah. This is almost similar to that. Yeah. But it still has that. I don't know if you primed my brain for it, brain for it, but it kind of like had a little diacetyl. Yeah. A little bit of that buttered popcorn. Yeah. But it's not too bad in this kind of beer, I think, because it has the caramel tones and all this mm -hmm. stuff, that stuff. I mean, it can be too much, especially in the cask ales, the session cask ales you sometimes get that are just acetyl bombs. But something like this, it's okay. Yeah. Uh, mouthfeel, medium actually. It's not yeah, the, it's the not heaviest the, it's part of mine. Uh, but still, it's got like a slightly creamy, sticky feel. Yeah. I can feel my lips are getting a little sticky from drinking it. Sticked up. Yeah. What's, what was the ABV? Uh, 10. 10. Also picking up a little bit of a piney note and a little bit of a, like that resiny feel too. Yeah, almost slightly earthy. What about you? Caramel. Again, a pear kind of sourness kind of lingering. I don't know what it is, but kind of like when you bite into a pear and you have that. Mm. I'm also getting that feel. spicy feel. Almost like, not like, well, that might go in, like, go in with the breadiness kind of feel, so I'm thinking spicy rye, but it's not in the way of rye malt. Mm. I think it might be some noble hop or something, maybe, because it does have a spicy feel. Yeah. Uh, and then the breadiness is kind of there, too, the caramel toffee, dark fruit. It doesn't have as much dark fruit as in the aroma, though. No. I'm, I am getting some kind of, uh, um, some kind of that, uh, raisiny kind of flavor with a little bit of red grape, but it's actually not that much. It was no. more in the aroma. Reading wise for me... I'm gonna go 84 on it. It's it's a nice barley wine, but it just it needs a little more for me. I mean, I would like to have more caramel flavors and more kind of uh, hops too. I, I'm all for like either the super hoppy barley wines or the super sweet malty ones. Yeah. I'm the middle ground is good too, but I prefer like either one or the other. So. Yeah, I have a kind of like a really weird feel about this. I don't like it that much. I'm gonna go a little lower. Uh, somewhat lower, uh, and I'm gonna go 75. Wow, you're not digging this at <laughs> nope. all. I only take, took like four sips of it, so. Uh, well, we'll see when it wa warms up, and yeah. I feel the bitterness more now, actually, too. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna stick with 75. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's fine. It's fine if you don't like it. But you, I guess that might be also because I got the diacetyl stuff in the, your head. 
<laughs> and oh, because of the pear stuff. But it has an kind of odd flavor, dusty yeah. thing too. But I think it's a good barley wine. I, I like it. I, I definitely... If you like subpar barley wines. You like subpar barley wines. Yes. <laughs> but barley wines aren't crazy intense. This Again, good beginner barley wine. So yeah. stop rambling. And guys, definitely let us know what you think of the Moylan's Old Blarney Barley Wine Style Ale. If you've had it. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter. And I want to say cheers. We're going to see you guys in another beer review.